Hi, I'm Lizzie and welcome to part three of how to grow sweet peas. Now I can't believe we're at part three already. It felt like only a few months ago that we were at part one. It was only a few months ago that we were at part one sowing our um, sweet pea seeds. Now don't panic if yours don't look like this. Um, these ones are ones that I autumn sowed. So like I said, you can sow sweet peas in autumn and keep them under cover throughout the season or you can start at the beginning of the year and again keep them under cover until around mid-March to end of March or beginning of April and um, we'll soon be planting them out. So this is actually, video is all about hardening off your sweet peas and what I mean by hardening off is what we do is get them out of wherever they are and put them outside um, and then bring them inside back into their cold frame um, or if you're still keeping them in the house bring them back inside at night and the reason we do this and we do the whole hardening off process is that it's not just the temperature that we're doing so obviously putting it outside during the day on a slightly cooler temperature and then putting it in at night means that um, it's kind of we're getting it used to that colder temperature but it's also um, getting the leaves thicker. So as it goes outside, um, the leaves toughen up. It's also getting used to the wind that they will get in, at, in their final position. Um, and it just generally makes them healthier and stronger plants. So simply all you need to do for hardening off is just take them outside of their protection. And I usually pop them in the ground. And then at night you simply put them back in and if you've also got some autumn sown aminagus you can also do the same for that now as well and what this means is that sweet peas like you could put them straight into the ground there's nothing wrong with it they'll probably be absolutely fine but I've, if you've looked after your sweet peas like we have for months and months and months it's really nice just to make sure that you're giving them the best start possible now one of the things i have to admit because some of you will be looking at these sweet peas and thinking what has she been up to because some of them have gone quite yellow now this is a big big disclaimer i haven't fed these at all since they've been in their pots which is probably not the right thing to do with autumn sown sweet peas um, and the reason why they're going yellow is because they're running out of nutrients so what i'm going to do is make sure that i start to feed them and i should have been doing this a little while ago so if you've got sweet peas that have been sown in kind of january february time or even um, even March it might be a good idea to give them a seaweed feed diluted into your watering can and this will just give them the extra nutrients that they need because they've been in this pot all well, these ones since autumn and they've soaked up all those nutrients and they've run out now and that's why it's turning a bit yellow so a bit of a disclaimer from me make sure that you feed your sweet peas so I'll do a whole separate video on feeding them and um, but this one's just about hardening off so you put them out during the day they're used to the temperatures the winds their leaves will start to thicken um, and they'll get used to that kind of the wind that's going past and then we'll pop them back inside the cold frame at night and we'll literally repeat that for maybe a week to 10 days you can do it for two weeks if you're not quite ready to plant them out depending when you start so i usually start on a tuesday or wednesday and then do it for a whole week and then the last few days i'm then ready to plant out at the weekend so um, i'm filming this on a tuesday so i'll try and put it up today at, or tomorrow on wednesday and then you can join in with me on when i'm hardening them off if you've got small sweet peas that you've literally just sown then maybe keep them indoors a little bit longer just to give them that heat to get them started and to get them growing but if you sowed your sweet peas in January February time you can start um, to um, harden them off now and we'll plant them out. It's important to note that sweet peas are tough plants, they want to grow, they want to survive and they can survive with tough love. I know some people who are sweet pea growers literally plant their sweet peas in sort of February time into the ground and um, they have an okay crop. I guess we're only growing a few sweet peas for our garden so we want them to be absolutely beautiful and be the best they can be. So that's my tips for hardening off. So put them outside during the day and put them back in your cold frame or indoors at night. Um, we'll do that for seven to ten days um, or maybe even two weeks depending what the timings that you choose are and then we'll plant them out in our final position and I'll do a separate video on feeding, I'll do a separate video on plant positioning and I'll also do one on what structures you need to put up to make sure that your sweet peas have something to climb up as well. But I love sweet peas, they're really simple to grow, they're absolutely beautiful and if you're watching this and you haven't started any sweet peas yet, it's now coming to the end of March so it's a brilliant time if you haven't done it to get your sweet peas in, into pots indoors and get them started if you haven't already. But if you've got any questions then let me know about hardening off and I'll do some separate videos which I'll load up soon. Thanks so much for watching.